Hey there, welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. Once again, we'll look at a horse race to learn from, for anything from criterium cycling racing to mass start on speed skating to short track speed skating, anything where you've got a bunch of racers all lined up and they, they have to be the first to the finish line against a bunch of people or horses or dogs or whatever it is. So let's look at this race. The winner was early voting. Not a not a lot of favorites in this race, no, no massive favorite, but one of the favorites. Also, the other was, of course, uh, Epicenter, which um, was favored to win the Kentucky Derby, too, and got second. So let's see how this race unfolds. Here's, here's the eventual winner right here. Right there. That's early voting. This horse, Armagnac leads a long way almost like a rabbit in a running race when they have someone go fast just so they can drop off and have a good pace i don't think that was the intent here i think of course the intent was to win that horse was really jamming early but here's early voting in second on the outside so this tells you tells me that this jockey jose ortiz is confident in his horse if he weren't he'd be more on the rail because you have to conserve more energy but this horse and this jockey, they are confident to be on the outside going a further distance. So that's the first thing you notice. Also, with that position, you do not get boxed in. You don't want to get on the rail here because horse will come around you. This is early, and then you're stuck. So in command of this race, you can see it right here. Perfect position, a little bit of a draft there, going 35 miles an hour or so. So getting a draft here, not sure if there was a crosswind. There may have been. Anyway, with the draft and perfect position. stays that way again like half wheeling them from cycling just letting the horse know he's there Armagnac still leading here and again early voting in the perfect position not getting boxed in it's also what you don't do that helps you win too not a lot of moving around not a lot of, of messing around just staying right there the whole race using that other horse, Armagnac the whole time. Armagnac still in front here, going into the final turn. And this is where the horse, where the race is run. Now it takes a lot of confidence to be on the outside the whole time. And now at the at the apex right here, the horse starts jamming. And here's the final push. Just a lot of energy there with that horse at the end. Notice the zigzagging here. The horse is kind of all over the place, going out and then going way in to the rail, which is interesting. I'm not sure what that's about. Perhaps to cut off uh, epicenter here, but it wasn't really necessary because this horse had enough speed anyway. So just a classic race in the sense that nothing special except for just a classic race. So sometimes what you don't do is more important than what you do. And what this horse and jockey didn't do is mess around in the pack, no messing around, staying in second the entire time, using this horse uh, for drafting purposes, also for gauging pace, and also having confidence to know that your horse, you can do it at the end, even traveling a further distance the whole race. So really well done by early voting. And, um, a high energy horse and a great race. So hope you enjoyed that little analysis. We'll see you next time. Speed skaters, criterium cyclists all can learn from this. And we'll talk to you later on Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great.